Hello and welcome back. Today I'm just going to do a quick guide of the side quests for Deadly Premonition. I just finished them and it was quite a task so hopefully this video will be of some use if you get stuck. To my mind there are three golden rules you need to remember. Number one, side quests are locked to certain chapters. I've included the chapter ranges with each side quest here. Number two, there are time of day and weather condition limitations on many of the side quests. Day or night, clear sky or raining, these are often a factor. And number three, you can usually only do one side quest per character in a 24 hour period. I.e. if you've been cooking with Emily in side quest number six, you need to wait 24 hours to do side quest number seven. If this still doesn't work, then just come back in a later chapter. I'm going to list all the side quests in order that they become available in the game. Hopefully this will give you a decent idea of the order to attack them as you go along. Okay, so these are the side quests that become available straight away from chapter 2. Number 4, Lost Arnold. Okay, so the first one is nice and easy and I'm sure most people do this one without many problems. You need to speak to George. I haven't seen Arnold around since... Yesterday. Arnold. And then retrieve his dumbbell from the kitchen. We found Arnold. And then return it to him to receive trading card 49. Well done, Agent Morgan. You need to collect all 64 trading cards to complete the 50 side quests, so grab them whenever you see them. Number 5. Nameless Flower. When you start driving around in the rain, You'll see these flowers appearing on your map in certain areas. I use this rest stop by the lake. Pick one up and drop it off at George's house at night to get the radio. My mother really liked this flower. This is the game's fast travel system which, believe me, will make the rest of these a lot easier. Number 6. Nice try cooking. Head over to Emily's on a rainy night with cheddar cheese in your inventory. She should be home after 5 or 6 p.m. But if you find it still closed, then smoke until after 9 p.m. So how's the chemistry experiment coming along? Give her the cheese to make her meal a moderate success and you'll receive the Hawaiian blue suit. Stylish. Number seven, another nice try cooking. Head back to Emily's on another rainy night with an onion in your inventory. Something smells good. Really? I'm trying to make a meatloaf this time. You can get onions from Lily at the milk barn. Add some flavor to Emily's meatloaf to receive trading card number 52. Nice. Numbers 18 to 20. Part-time job 1 to 3. These next three side quests involve doing chores for Lily at the milk barn. Head over there on a day when it isn't raining, it will be closed if it is, and lend her a hand in the storeroom. It's just our storage room is a total mess. Push the boxes into the squares to first get the bronze discount card. Thank you, hon. Then the silver discount card. I'll exchange your bronze card for a silver card. And finally, a mysterious key. Mm. Here's your reward, the key. Number 21, the legendary guitar. With the key you got from Lily in side quest 20, visit the Ingram's home and inspect the cupboard in the garage to retrieve Keith's prized possession. So this is Keith's most important possession. His Grekuch guitar. Number 17, the bond between men. You can either hang on to Keith's guitar for a while and use it as a surprisingly powerful melee weapon. Hey bro. Or return it to him at the milk barn to complete the mission and receive the gold discount card. Take this then in exchange. Ooh. Number 33, special service. 
Visit Gina at the gas station and simply pay for six car washes to receive her special service. Thankfully, you can just pay six times in one go. Today, you get the special service. <laughs> Zach, that was some aggressive car washing. You will also receive a lollipop for your trouble. Lovely. Number 34, Benjamin Franklin. Visit Jack at the gas station and pay him a bribe. Head back three more times over subsequent days or chapters and he'll eventually give you some very special information. Reminds me, man, that general. He was going on about some high-fly car that just came in. Numbers 27 and 28, Where's the Dress and Anna's Diary. These next couples start a chain of side quests which you can actually do all in one go. We begin at Sally's house. Speak to her until she starts to talk about Anna's dress. Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. We can find the dress rack in the back of the house, but we don't yet know which dress it is we need. But there's too many here. Upstairs you'll find a picture of Anna in a blue dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. Return to the rack and take the blue dress to Sally. A key falls from the dress, which we can use to access Anna's bedroom upstairs. Here you'll find her diary in the dresser. It seems like something is going on with her, Becky, and somebody called Q. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. Number one, delivery man Q. Depending on how far you are into the game at this point, you can probably guess who Q is. But first we need to head over and speak to Becky. I've got nothing to say to you. Please, go away. Make sure you speak to her twice to show her Anna's diary. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. Just leave me alone. Then head over to Quint's trailer after 4pm to find him working on his bike. Wait for him to walk over to the shelves opposite and inspect his bike to find the red dust. You can speak to Quint to put him through his paces. I found this in your bike. But then head back to Becky's and present the red dust. Give this to Quint and tell him I can't accept it. Number 29, Engagement Ring. Return the ring to Quint's trailer and receive an unbreakable wrench for your efforts. But I want you to take this as a thank you gift. This completes this sequence of side quests. Number 30, Top Rank. Head over to Swery 65 in the evening and buy a dart gun from Richard. You need to get the top score in the darts game. So first, take a stabilizer, and then simply shoot for triple twenties all the way through the game until the last round when you need to hit the bullseye. FYI, sweary, the green ring outside the bullseye is actually only worth 25 points, but I won't complain. Richard will give you a larger weapon bag. Nice. Okay, these next missions first become available from chapter 4. Number 10, Periodic Riddle. After completing the Nightmare Hospital, return and speak with Usher who's struggling with a riddle. It's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Solve this for him and reveal his secret admirer for a trading card. Number 32, Medical Studies. While you're at the hospital, you can speak to Fiona for a medical quiz. Hey Fiona, what are you reading today? A medical textbook. Keep going until you get three lucky guesses in a row for another trading card. Number 33, 
Number eight, memorable cooking. We can return to Emily's for a third and final cooking session. There's something I really want to cook, but I can't remember what it is. This time you need an egg, hollandaise sauce, and a country ham. You should have collected these from the Nightmare Worlds, but if you don't have them, you can buy them from Lily at the Milk Barn from Chapter 9 onwards. You'll get a weather doll, which unfortunately does not control the weather, despite what you may think. Okay, these next set become available from Chapter 6, after the Lumber Mill. Number 13, Legendary Tabitha. Make sure you have plenty of worms and head over to the fishing spot behind Jim's when it's raining. You should see the side quest marker. Keep trying until you land on the blue fish marker and your line should break. Speak to Jim to receive his legendary fishing rod. It's the rod I used when I was younger. And return to wrestle with Tabitha once more. I knew this day would come. Number 14, Map to Psychic Spot A. Head to the milk barn and speak to Keith to buy the map to Psychic Spot A. Oh, yo, dude. Follow the orange markers to the tunnel, and then head through all the doors, killing all the enemies. Don't walk into the portals or you'll be taken back to the start. When you finally get to a room with no enemies, you can collect your infinite machine gun, and then you can leave through the portal. These next quests become available from Chapter 7. Numbers 35 to 37, Trading Card Collecting. And you can now visit Panda Bear at night. It turns out he's a card freak and will reward you for how many you've collected. As a collector, I just love looking at rare cards. When you've collected 8, 16 and 32 cards, you'll complete the first three quests. You've got more than 8. Looks like you have more than 16 here. More than 32. Well done. You won't get 48 or 64 cards till near the end of the game, so I'll come back to those last two then. Numbers 3 and 12. Memories of Anna and someone in the forest. These two quests are intertwined. We need to speak to the twins, which you can either do on a rainy day at their house, or find them walking around on a clear day what in the exactly forest park. They'll give you a blurry photo. Return to Anna's tree on a clear afternoon to find Carol milling around and speak to her for a trading card. After returning the photo to Carol, report back to the twins to complete side quest number 12 for another trading card. Number 9, Unwanted Customer. Speak to Thomas at the Galaxy of Terror and he'll mention that Carol is receiving some unwanted attention. Thomas, something on your mind? Return 24 hours later on a clear night to find Jack watching Carol from the shadows. I take it you have a thing for Carol. <laughs> Tell him to sling his hook and report back to Thomas for a trading card. It isn't much of a thank you gift, but please, take this. Numbers 40 to 42. Head over to the junkyard and speak to the general for three fetch quests that give you small upgrades to your vehicle. And how about a little treasure hunt? Only after completing these three, along with the Benjamin Franklin side quest, will you be able to get York's car back. Numbers 44 to 48, Cold Pot 1 to 5. These next five missions involve returning Sigourney home from various points on the map. Hey Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. 
My pot. It's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Follow the orange arrows to take her complaining ass home as quick as humanly possible. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? Oh, thanks to you, my pot is still warm. In number 44, she'll either be at the rest stop by the lake or near Emily's house. In 45, she'll either be near the hotel or the junkyard. Hey Sigourney. In 46, she'll either be at the graveyard or the hospital. Hey Sigourney. In 47, she'll be at the community centre or the forest keeper's cabin. And lastly, she'll be either near Harry's mansion or the wood path. Hey Sigourney. After completing these five, she'll finally reveal the mystery of what's inside her pot. Will you tell me what you have inside? But I'm not going to show it here. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. These next few quests are available from Chapter 8. Number 31, The Beauty. Oh, hi. Speak to Polly at the hotel and she'll reminisce about times gone by. And so many memories came flooding back to me. Head to her room in the northeast of the hotel to find a painting of a young Polly. Now that's a pretty girl. And return it to her for a trading card. Well, thanks for bringing back such a wonderful memory. Number 11, Snack for Willy. Collect the bones that you see from around the Greenvale map. A human bone? And at some point have Willy steal them from you. Each time you retrieve them from Kason's truck, you'll receive a bonus prize. Zack, I'm glad I don't need a warrant to search a doghouse. Do this when you have all seven bones and you'll receive the infinite magnum. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus too. Just make sure you do this before you hand any of the bones back to Brian in the graveyard or you'll miss the magnum. Number 49, seven bones. Once you've collected all the bones and gotten the infinite magnum from side quest number 11, don't forget to do that first. Visit Creepy Brian in the graveyard. A wild dog took bones from the grave. And return the bones to him. He'll give you a key to his creepy gothic mansion. Agent, thank you. Number 50, Ghost House Treasure. Head to Brian's creepy mansion to collect an unlimited flamethrower from his rather overgrown garden. If you can find your way through the dense shrubbery, that is. Okay, these quests become available from Chapter 9. Number two, Guardian of the Art Gallery. Once you've completed the art gallery, head back inside and find a painting in a locked room by shooting the lock off from inside. Take the painting to Diane to complete the quest. If she's locked away in her office, then smoke until she appears. It should be sometime between 2 and 4 p.m. You'll receive a trading card. I'd like to ask you about this painting. Number 43, York's car. Once you've finished bribing Jack and found all three of the general's spare parts, you can buy back York's car for a hefty repair fee. The car will be ready after 24 hours. You can now drive much faster, but the downside is that you have to listen to this awful Green Day sound alike whenever you do.
These quests first become available in chapter 13. 24 to 26, Nick's letter and the big bag. So these next three quests you actually can do all in one go. Speak to Nick in the jail cell and he'll give you a letter. Could you hand her a letter? Take it to Olivia at home and she'll send a reply. I want to write a reply. Take Olivia's letter back to Nick and he'll give you a key to the diner. Head around the back entrance and use the key to retrieve the big bag from the kitchen. Zach, this is great. Now we can carry even more stuff. Nice. These quests first become available in chapter 14. Number 15, map to psychic spot B. Return to the milk barn and get the next location map from Keith. Head over to the train graveyard behind Thomas's house. Again, kill all the bad guys and keep going through all the doors for a prize. These next quests become available from chapter 26, which means major end game spoilers from here onwards. Don't say I didn't warn you. Number 16, map to psychic spot C. Hey bro. Speak to Keith to buy a third map and head to the substation. Instead of the usual parade of shadows, this time you have to fight all of the game's major bosses again, and they're even tougher than usual, so be prepared. You'll be rewarded with an RPG. Number 22, Greenvale Trivia. Head to Harry's mansion and get three trivia questions correct in a row. You'll be rewarded with another trading card. Number 23, Incomplete Treasure. While at the mansion, find Michael's room and read his diary. The precious bird carving that he gave me. Head to the diner on a clear day to find the bird carving in a booth. And bring it back to Michael at night when he's alone. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so that only leaves the last two trading card side quests. To get 48 and then 64, you have to do a lot of fishing and you have to replay all of the nightmare sections. <laughs> More than 48? 64 cards. That's a full set. And finally, for a bit of fun, here's the 65th trading card. When you finish the game, select the special menu, watch movie number 35, listen to song number 14, Look at Polly's trading card. And then look at picture number three in the second photo album. Head through the mystery door to be reunited with York and receive the final trading card. Okay, Zach, I think our business is done here. 
till next time.